Hello and welcome to this graffiti tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make graffiti in Photoshop in just a few easy steps. In the end, please check out the description of the video. There you will find the graffiti textures and other resources plus a link to my graffiti Photoshop action that you can use for quick results. So let us begin. We have our main subject, which uh, we will rename to image. This is the image that we will apply against a, a let's say, a brick wall. Um, we'll call this graffiti texture. And we'll ensure that the size of the uh, brick wall or the, in this case, it, it acts as a canvas that we're going to apply our graffiti against uh, is, is of a proportionate size so that we can apply our main image to it. Now with our main image, in this case we have a child, uh, we want to remove the background so that we only have the child, so we make a selection on everything that is behind the child and we delete. It's going to be a, a rough cut around the hair and all that, but that doesn't matter because this is graffiti and it's um, those sorts of imperfections are not, not terribly important. So we uh, first step to duplicate the layer. We have two layers of the child. Ensure that uh, we have a black and white selection for foreground and background colors as such. Next, we go to filter uh, and then filter gallery. And there under the sketch group, we have photocopy. Uh, let's put the darkness up a little bit to ensure that uh, there's a bit of black in there because that acts as a bit of an outline. Now we can go to adjust the levels because if we uh, pull these together, it reduces the amount of gray and ensures we have black and whites only. We darken the mode of the top layer so that then we just have a layer that is only showing those black spots uh, that act as an outline. And next we put a gradient map on the, on the layer underneath that um, so that we are dividing the gradient of the tones, the dark and light tones into four segments. What we're doing here is we're choosing black for the darkest segment. We're going to choose blue for the second dark blue for the, for the second darker segment. And as it goes lighter, we're going to go to orange and then to white um, as the final segment. Now we're not toning these, we're having sharp edges dividing these. And you can see how I'm pulling these sliders so that it is a sharp change from orange to white and you can see the effect is immediate um, how it how it looks and that is just an artistic way these colors can be changed but uh, these these particular colors work very well now we apply a layer style we're going to stroke but we're going to go uh, on the inside not on the outside this will ensure that we're not enlarging the um, the image and uh, it, it gives a nice outline we're going to put all those um, all those layers into their own group and turn the visibility off. We'll go to uh, uh, the apply image option and we'll make sure that the layer is merged. And then when we turn it on, you can see how that applies against the uh, brick wall. When we choose invert and then we go to adjustments and levels, you can apply, change these sliders to uh, adjust the effect against the brick, brick wall different. Uh, variations of that will have different levels of different amount of the wall texture coming through that. So it's already looking very good. And a final step, you can just adjust the hue, uh, or I should say the saturation um, on the on the base layer to help it come through and a nice polished finish. So that is, uh, in a nutshell, how to do the graffiti effect in Photoshop. As I mentioned in the beginning of this graffiti Photoshop tutorial, here are some examples made with the Graffiti Photoshop action. Check the download link in the description below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.